This summer, an anti sunscreen movement is heating up online and spreading misinformation that could lead to potentially dangerous behavior. Now, dermatologists are working to stop the trend at its source. Megan Oliver has more on where the movement began and the real life impacts it's having on young people's health. Stop using sunscreen, okay? The sunscreen chemicals seep into your bloodstream after just one day. Social media influencers are throwing shade on sunscreen, falsely claiming these products hurt your health. Stop wearing sunscreen because it's terrible for your skin. It's messing up your estrogen levels. It has a lot of bad toxic things inside of it. Some even outlining how to make your own sunscreen right in the kitchen, with clips amassing millions of likes. The trend took off on social media in the last month. It's reflective of a growing shift in how young Americans view sun safety. A new study by Orlando Health found that one in seven adults under the age of 35 say daily sunscreen use is more harmful than direct sun exposure. That's 14% of the demographic. Are you seeing an increase in patients who are anti-sunscreen? 100%, and it was not like this before. Dermatologists like Dr. Janine Downey say they're already seeing more cases of skin cancer in young adults. Two weeks ago, I diagnosed three squamous cells and two malignant melanomas in one week, along with several basal cells carcinoma. And that's me, just one little dermatologist. A study late last year by the Middlebury Institute of International Studies at Monterey examined misinformation around sunscreen and sun exposure. First, that sunscreen is cancerous or otherwise harmful, something dermatologists and researchers say is inaccurate. I have a couple of patients that are like that. They only want the natural things, but I tell them all the time, the level of pollutants in the air on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis is significantly more toxic than any chemical they're gonna rub into their skin with sunblock. Another, that sunscreen doesn't allow the body to receive healthy benefits from the sun. Is there any healthy amount of vitamin D exposure without sunscreen? I tell everybody no, because people don't use as much sunscreen as they should anyway. So it's really sunscreen and not sunblock, if I want to be specific, because it's not truly blocking out all of the sun's rays, Megs. It's screening them out. But while there's no evidence that sunscreens are unsafe, the FDA is now assessing how some ingredients are absorbed into the bloodstream. And dermatologists say the benefits of sunscreen far outweigh any risks and recommend its use. It's actually protecting you a whole lot more. Dr. Shireen Idris is a dermatologist in New York, taking the fight against misinformation directly to those platforms. A beautiful sunscreen. Posting videos to educate users about different skin care and sunscreen routines. I think. As a viewer, it is so important that you go and look into the sources that your favorite content creator is using before fully adopting or believing what it is that they're saying. Google Trends show terms like what does skin cancer look like and sunscreen are being searched more than ever in the U.S. Luckily, accurate skin care information is still breaking through for many beachgoers. How important is sunscreen to you? It's very important because on my face, I like to make sure I don't get skin cancer. Um, I feel like it's mildly important. Yeah. I don't burn I easily, feel like so. Face is the most important, and then that's basically it. Dermatologists recommend wearing sunscreen, reapplying often, using protective clothing with ultraviolet protection factor or UPF, UV visors that protect face, neck, and chest, and avoid prolonged exposure in direct sunlight between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Long Branch, New Jersey.